Jesus, remember me when you come to your kingly power. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Christ, the universal King. And this title of Christ happens also to be the name of our school. How good God is. To him be glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving now and forever. You may recall that it was Pope Pius the eleventh, who with the papal encyclical was prima, was prima, in the year of the Lord, 1925, during the holy year, that year, he instituted this great feast, the solemnity of Christ, the universal King. Why did he do it? to bring to the consciousness of human persons the fact of a king who is not limited by territorial boundaries, who is not limited by time or space, whose tenor lasts forever, but a king who rules differently, a king who says, my kingdom is not of this world. Yet he rules this world forever. Christ rules in our hearts and he rules us with love. He was not out to subdue but to serve. Christ was not out to conquer but to convert. Hence he converted and conquered with love. He was not out to hold possessions, but to give and to comfort the needy. He devoted his energy to loving service. Kingdoms rise and fall. They begin and end. They have boundaries, their territories. They exist in time and space. They need arms and ammunition and force to subdue, while the kingdom of Christ, the kingdom of love, the kingdom of joy, the kingdom of peace is universal and eternal. We follow Christ, who has the same spirit, the spirit of service, the spirit of love, the spirit of forgiveness, the spirit that shuns hatred, the spirit of development, the spirit who thinks of the best for the neighbor, the spirit that transforms the world. Christ came that we may have life and have it in abundance. As we welcome you once more to Christ the King College, Anisha, the University on the Niger, the College of Colleges, your alma mater. We wish to express our unalloyed sentiments of gratitude to you for everything you do for us and especially for the remarkable transformation you've brought to our college since it was returned to the church by the government. We are truly grateful beyond words. We cannot enumerate or quantify your solicitude towards our college and all the schools in Onisha Ash Diocese. We are grateful for the uncountable times you've graced us with your presence. We are grateful for your common generosity manifested in various ways and occasions. While we think we have the best personnel training us, our principal claims that Onisha Ash Diocese has capable hands in all the schools, hospitals, and the media. He speaks often about the investments of the Archbishop in training priests. He once quoted you saying that success without successors is failure in disguise. We and many students in Catholic schools across the Archdiocese are now the beneficiaries. Your Grace, 
You've become the new Abraham, father of many nations. Directly and through your priest, you birth in a new generation of youths that will become positive change agents in the future. God will reward you in this world with long life and good health. He will reward you in the next life with the crown of unfading glory. We love you. We cherish you. We appreciate you.